Welcome back to the series of short tutorials on analyzing reproductive data in Excel following the instructions in the standard operating procedure linked in the description below. For this presentation, we're going to show you how to visual, visualize uh, this uh, information about size-specific sex ratios or, or size-specific sex proportions uh, more accurately. What we're going to do is select size class average, select all those data, and then while holding down the control key, we're also going to select the freak female column. Go to insert. Click on the arrow next to uh, scatter and then choose uh, plain old scatter. Uh, you can move this bounding box. Just click anywhere on here and drag this so it's out of the way of your data. The next thing we'd like to do is um, add some axes. So we'll add chart element, axis titles, primary horizontal, and axis titles, primary vertical. We'll change those titles right now. Down here on the bottom, we have length in centimeters. And on the y-axis, we have the proportion of females. Next, we're going to add a trend line. Click on uh, the plus icon just up here to the right of the chart. Go to trend line, click on the arrow for more options. And then for our trend line options, click on this chart uh, signal or, or symbol right here. And we're going to choose a polynomial uh, trend. The next thing we'd like to do is change our axes then. Uh, we'll go to format and we'd like to first change the horizontal axes. Come over here to the right on the chart icon, click axis options, and it looks here like anything above 15 centimeters is going to be good for us. Enter that. And then um, we really don't need anything uh, below zero here on the trend line because the lowest proportion of females that we can have is zero. So we're going to change this axis as well. So we'll go back up here to the top, change the vertical axis. Uh, we're in the right uh, pane right here on the format axis uh, menu over here at right, and we're just going to change that to zero. Okay. Uh, the last thing I would do then is make any other changes you want. For instance, this title to me is not very descriptive. We'll allow more space in the, in the plot. Come back next time, and we'll show you how to estimate uh, fecundity as a function of length.